run that change my purpose. What is that? Run for autism. So you already have that that that, that cost that you will run because you know that Zari situation. Then I did that. Let's put my uh, passion uh, via my running interest here to do a course to help uh, or to raise uh, and to raise fund for the underprivileged students. As I know that Zarif expenses is not cheap. Hmm? Uh, OT, SD, hypotherapy, swimming, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's very expensive. Can you imagine uh, speech therapy, uh, 150 ringgit per session? I mean, like us, the middle income family, kita struggle juga nak bayar. Tapi how about the B40, the underprivileged? So I spoke to Nasom, uh, Chai Chai Chai, or Nasom, because Nasom is one of the most established uh, national uh, society in Malaysia. I spoke to them, I said, Nasom, I would like to raise funds for your underprivileged students, the B40 students in Nasom centers. You know, Nasom centers, they have many centers throughout the world, uh, throughout the Mal throughout Malaysia, sorry. So Nasom agreed to my fundraising and then Nasom gave an uh, honor. He said, so uh, let's name the fund as Zari Zulkaida Fund, basically to uh, the fund to help the underprivileged students at Nasom uh, to get a better treatment. Uh, so that's where House Berlin uh, run started. Uh, so in brief, uh, Zari Zulkaida Fund is for Malaysian citizen, uh, maximum age is 10 years old. Uh, targeted to a gross household income of 3,500 and below to attend the speech therapy program. So this is my first poster uh, for Berlin Marathon. Uh, Berlin Marathon is in, was in September. I started the campaign uh, in April. Okay, so this is my first uh, published uh, poster through uh, my social media. So uh, I upfront be told that, hi, I'm Zul, I'm a runner. I would like to complete my marathon majors in Berlin. As a parent to an autistic child, my empathy goes very deep to those underprivileged families with autistic child. Let's ensure through this fundraising, we're able to get the child financially supported. Because from my personal experience, even masa zaman zaman saya kecil dulu kan, dekat kampung ke, I discovered kalau you pergi dekat kampung atau luar bandar, you akan discover ada hamba Allah atau manusia yang pelik sikit. Man, dia dah tua, dia pelik, dia duduk kat ujung kampung, dia ada buat hal sendiri uh, tapi orang kampung ada yang sayang, ada yang macam cuba melarikan diri daripada mereka uh, dan mereka uh, ada juga yang disisihkan yeah. tapi when I have the discussion dengan orang Nasam, Nasam, yeah it's true some when we discover that they want to be autistic tapi dia tak ada intervention dari awal lagi the parents just let them go and then dia akan macam tu kan I'm not blaming the parents but because of the the awareness, the information is not there. And then you imagine a rural area, the nearest uh, um, hospital is like apa ni, miles away. Macam mana nak pergi dapatkan treatment? Kena nak pergi to the hospital kerajaan, kena dapatkan appointment, kena tunggu for the for the apa ni, for the next appointment. So uh, I I discovered that hey, if Zari have the opportunity here, why the kids out there uh, perlu disisihkan? So everyone have to pay the part. So I read, I, 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 I push my run for autism platform here to raise the awareness. So throughout this poster, people start to ask, Izul, autism ni apa? Oh, here ke? Okay, I would like to know more. So in my uh, fundraising page, I briefly inform them what's autism and start to be, uh, advocate about autism. So Alhamdulillah, uh, managed to finish my run. This is the, the photo I'm running towards the finishing line. And then the, the feeling that I found at the point of time is totally amazing because don't you lari, lari for, for the medals, for the better time, but it's not you lari for a cost. You know at that time you already raised some amount of money that we benefited the, the kids in Nassau, right? So that's why I put here, if you run, make sure you are running towards something, never away. I choose to run for autism, okay. So here's your cropping after I made and then I cut the, this is my purpose now, hmm? the run that changed my purpose. So Alhamdulillah, again, I um, put my run for autism course, 
uh, for autism cafe project but at that point of time I ask myself eh lepas ni nak buat apa nak lari macam mana so as you can see that um, running ni dia ada banyak distance hmm? uh, people started to run uh, one kilometer and then five kilometer and then they go for 10 kilometer based on the category in the running events and then they go for half marathon 21 km and then they go for full marathon 42 km so in my case I already did it until 42 km so what's next so the next one they call it ultra marathon is running beyond 42 km so I decided okay Zul gonna run his first ultras for autism kp project so I decided to run in these two prominent ultra marathon in Malaysia once in April uh, another one in September so in April I ran 50 km a route 68 challenge uh, it's a route from Go Umbak to Genting Sabah to Janda Baik and Patah Balik to Go Umbak so I, I try my first road running 50 km and then in September I tried the ultra trail marathon uh, in Sabah where you the runner uh, have to run in, uh, inside the trail surrounding the Mount Kinabalu it's, a, it's such a scenic run so I did the 50 km and then we raised few thousands for autism cafe project so again that's my purpose run for a cause run for autism and this time the beneficiary is autism cafe project So the way I put it, the run uh, is that the run that symbolizes the pain, the determination, and the progress of our beloved autistic children. Because every run, you have checkpoint to checkpoint, checkpoint for you for you to take the the water, uh, some uh, refreshment uh, or meals. So it's a progress, okay. And then of course, certain mileage you 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 are kind of sit down, injured, penat, give up. Same goes to my journey when raising the Zarin. And I believe it's the same journey to all parents with autistic kids out there. So I would like to donate, I would like to um, relate this run to them. Okay. So when we read the finishing line, of course, you have to celebrate. So every single autistic ch child need to be celebrated, regardless it's a small celebration or big celebration. Because, hey, it's your kids. You know them well. They need to be celebrated. So that's my photo in Berlin, uh, finishing line, uh, Route 68 and the Sabah Trail Marathon, uh, Ultra TMBT. The most, TMBT stands for the most beautiful thing because it's such a beautiful scenic route. Uh, I wish uh, everyone who have the passion to run in, uh, or to run uh, for trail running, uh, that must be in your uh, wish list. So, that's the the run that I I I, I ran uh, for the last 2017 and 2018. So next, last year, uh, I was approached by this dad uh, named Azran. Azran, if you are listening, hi Azran, uh, a cool guy. He approached me. He said, "So uh, I also have autistic boy. I would like to do my." first 100 kilometer uh, for this autism course. Can we do it together? And then we told our runners can be check up. Why not? Let's go hit man. Let's do it together. So we came up with our posters, eh, 100 km poster and we ran uh, for autism and then we contribute 2000 back to the Zari Sukar Elafan in Janda Baik. So this uh, my fundraising pages uh, that I, I use simply giving uh, com is a fundraising page uh, based in Singapore, I think. Yeah, so they're quite um, user friendly. So in fact, uh, when I want to do the fundraising here, I uh, will ask the beneficiaries first, in this case, Nasom. So Nasom already have the account in simply giving. So they said, Zol, go to our simply giving and create a sub. Uh, I would say a, a sub campaign inside the NASOM. So that's why I give it uh, the name Zul Run for Autism for Autism Cafe Project. So